Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, Medic built an Axial SCX-10 Honcho kit. I remember this. It was many, many years ago, and there's many videos with this body. There's a hole cut here because I remember the wires came out for the winch. How many folks and viewers actually remember this body? Now, unfortunately, I don't even have all of the bodies that I've used with the beast. How many remember that one? This is a Jeep Cherokee uh, from back in the day we had running on the beast. Who remembers this one from the mud truck we had running on the beast? How about this Jeep where we climbed the waterfall with the beast? This black Ford I had er, 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 climbed Sulphur Mountain with the beast. In fact, there's so many bodies, I don't even have them all anymore. I had a GMC, uh, I had, uh, geez, I remember I had a brown Ford Proline body. I think that was an F650. Let's get all these out of the way. And now we have the Altered Beast. Now I went through and did a complete rebuild on this again. It's had so many faces, but only one name throughout, and that was the Beast. But I say now, it's so different from what I've had, it certainly is my altered Beast. Now, we just had the running video with this in a few videos ago. I went out into a blizzard uh, on a probably minus 25 degree Celsius day. Uh, and it was pretty windy, but it was so much fun to get this out. Finally, after building this truck, we could get it out and uh, before the creek completely froze up, have a little bit of fun with it. Now, I'm going to answer some questions that I've had over the last little while in the last video. And I'm going to say one of, the uh, one of the viewers, the people asking the questions, asked about this bulldog winch. Is it waterproof, they asked. They said they had read that it wasn't waterproof, and they are correct. The RC four-wheel drive uh, uh, Bulldog winch, from what I understand, is not waterproof. But I didn't have this plugged in that day, right? So I don't have to worry about this because we could dry it out. And yeah, I could worry about rust and stuff in there, but I'm not too concerned at this moment, Right. If I wasn't running power to it, I don't have to worry about it being really waterproof because there's no short from an electrical circuit. Now, somebody had said that in the video, in the cold video, when we're running in the in the creek, they could see a flat spot in this back tire. Well, that's not true, actually. It must have just been an illusion from uh, the snow, the way it was building up on the rim. This actually didn't have a flat spot at all. I made sure to review that video. I did not see what they were talking about. And they're saying that the Traxxas tires didn't hold up. But I want to ensure you guys that this tire I've run in the TTC and I've run it in the cold. And you know what? In my opinion, it is a fantastic tire for snow. Even these studs in there, even though they're plastic or not plastic, they're rubber rather, uh, they're great for digging into the snow. Now on the concrete, not so good. It doesn't hook up very well because it runs on these nubs. Now, one of the things we may have noticed in the video and we talked about it was uh, it sounded like my slipper clutch was actually uh, whining about mm, two minutes and 45 seconds into the running video. The slipper clutch uh, I thought was the problem as well, but it wasn't because I basically uh, with, with semi-permanent uh, uh, contact cement, I've glued it all the way down. A slipper clutch will slip under torque of the motor if one of the tires is locked up. And what that slippage will do, uh, working on a spring method uh, or a spring setup, is actually give the truck a bit of give without snapping uh, an axle or some other part of the vehicle. Well, for me, because I already knew that we were going to go and run out hard, I did tighten that slipper clutch down. And the whole time, I know the, the, the light is bad, so I want you to see, this top post, I have a spacer in there. It's plastic. 
that is a mistake for me. I should be using something like metal uh, because that spacer in the cold let loose. It constricted the plastic and that screw came loose and it kind of backed this motor off at about mm, two minutes, 45, three minutes into the video. And so this started to slip so we could hear it whine a little bit. I thought it was ice building up on the slipper clutch. You know what? Maybe it was both. You guys want to have a look on the inside? All right, let's have a look. The pins aren't on. Some people have been looking at my truck and I'm just kind of mention this. They say it looks like my frame is bent because there is a gap between this body and this uh, supporting brace. You're absolutely right. It looks like it is, but it isn't. There's not too much I can do. Like I looked at pushing down the front, but because these holes were pre-gerald when I got the body, I can't really resituate it without having another hole. So I'm okay with this. I was okay with it when I bought it. Uh, I'm still very happy with the way it looks. I'm glad I tinted out the windows and of course added this fender to the front. This RC Rock Armor bumper is also awesome. There we go, focusing up, looking pretty good. Check it out. So in the top, for the people that were watching, this blower uh, is actually for a little tiny toy car. Uh, but in the build video in the upgrade series, you'll see I kind of cut this hole in the top of the hood. Here we go. Check it out. These weights on the top, here's your shout out. Luke Harper uh, said to me, Medic, if you're gonna cut a hole, how are you gonna keep this down without using pins? And I still may use pins in the front, but I haven't yet. I just use these weights, they're just tire weights, sticky on the back, to hold down this whole uh, top. And of course, when I'm on the trail, just a little piece of tape behind here is cool. It still lets you lift up the hood and have a look. Now, this is dirt, I do apologize. There was some swamp dirt and uh, al uh, algae and stuff still growing in the creek. I still will paint over this or cover it, um, but I'm not quite done uh, customizing the inside here yet. Now, let's have a peek here. Some folks had a look at my last video where I was showing how to do um, um, gorilla tape fender or wheel wells, right? Have a look. Some of you guys don't like this. That's okay. Some of you guys gave me shit and said I was taking a shortcut in using uh, Gorilla Tape to build these wheel wells. But I'll tell you what, in an expensive build like this, and since it's mine, I, I'm really okay with it. Uh, putting in homemade wheel wells that I can customize and cut and have them like leather, that's totally fine with me. Uh, shortcut that can always save me a buck, especially in this kind of stuff, I'm okay with. But I also understand people are different, have different opinions, and want to do different stuff with their trucks. Now look at I totally encased the battery compartment. All of that is Gorilla Tape, still fairly flexible. I could cut it. This is just dirt, I apologize. I didn't clean the truck before I did the video. See how it's all enclosed? So when I'm spraying water and mud, it's not going directly all over the motors and everything, right? When it's going like, yeah, spinning that way. So it would be hitting the inside and coming down instead of spraying the inside of the truck. Now, yes, have a peek at this. This blower, like I was mentioning, actually filters air down to the fan that's in the RX-8. The way I did the, um, the wiring, straight up off the top, so it looks like it could be spark plug wires uh, running down the side. Here, let's have a look, I'll refit this. There we go. And there we go. I don't have the body pins on, I'm sorry. But for this example, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Still looks pretty boss. So still a forced air intake. It's not like this is going super fast. It's not a built to be a fast truck. It's built to have lots of torque. It's still pushing air into the RX-8. Now, a lot of people are already saying, I thought the Tekken RX-8 is not waterproof. And at the time of this filming, the model that I have, I believe is also not waterproof. But I did risk it, I did open it up, destroyed my warranty, I would never expect them to warranty it now. Uh, and when I opened up the RX-8, I took some indoor-outdoor uh, clear uh, 
um, silicone and I put it in the areas that I knew it would make it work. And people have asked me to show them how to waterproof an RX-8, but it's just too expensive for other folks to screw it up if I didn't show you properly, right? So I don't want you guys to risk it, but I don't mind taking it into my own hands if I wreck my own stuff. Uh, these are air-filled tires, my friends. I forgot to say that. These are the G-Made air-filled systems. They are fantastic, totally sealed uh, with a valve system on the inside. I run it at half pressure. Some people noticed that my truck seemed longer. You're darn right. I totally clocked the axle at the back um, with this brace and a three link system. Some of you guys are wondering why I didn't put in a four link system. And with all the trucks that I have, I'm really okay with this three link system. It's gonna work just fine. But check it out. I put in these uh, extenders, extended the links at the back, and now I barely have any uh, uh, drive shaft issue with a bend and elbow or it dragging along at all, right? Almost straight drive shaft. Even this is at full extension too. Going up to the back transmission, this is almost, you know, just a few degrees, maybe 40. No, not even ah, in that area. Same at the front. So I'm pretty happy, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, spray some CalRC Moo Slick on my truck because I did have it uh, in the water. I did spray that stuff onto my truck beforehand. So all of my uh, MIP, or these aren't MIPs, but my uh, RC four wheel drive Punisher shafts, my bearings, everything is still very lubed up and I don't see any rust at all. So my friends, I hope that gives you a little bit of a good look at uh, how the beast is now after the running video. Uh, I'm gonna tighten up that back motor, use a little bit more thread lock, and uh, basically lube up the truck, make sure it's ready to go for next time. And uh, thanks my friends, I appreciate you checking out my video today. I hope you like this truck and it makes you smile. Get out and have some fun. See you on the next RC adventure.